feared and can cut him in half. You self well stand could be forgiven for thinking that he did clown world when Josh had a car put his hand to his heart after being sent off with him down to world origin perhaps and O'Carr hadn't realized that he himself his teammates in his state had just been flogged 32 6 and O'Carr's lame of punch was his most effective blow of the game as he walked from the field, there would have been few New South Wales fans rising to greet him. Jerome Blower seemed to care less, indulging in his own personal feud with Rhys Walsh, oblivious to the humbling loss that had just been inflicted. Walsh could have played Luai on the night. Bush Luai, a safe trip home. After an altercation, saw them both sent from the field. You're off. Oh. Off. He's off too. Brad Fittler was baffled at the manner of those things loss. No, it was disappointing. I'm still thinking about the game, you know. Um, that's about it. But if the long suffering New South Wales fans thought the game's final whistle, might offer some respite, though would have been somewhat vexed by Jerome Miller's Instagram post later that night. Fiddler has come out to defend his 5-8th, saying death threats on social media were involved. How this condones or justifies Blue-Eyes statement has yet to be explained. The New South Wales management team might want to take a leaf out of Queensland's approach. There's no excuses in this team, and that's what the people of Queensland do. So we're trying to reflect that. Could there be a more stark example contrasting the Queenslanders' love for their fans? The crowd supporting us. All the fans coming out tonight. Um, yeah, this one's for you, Queensland. Against. New South Wales disdain. A reality check is coming for the Blues. It will be intriguing to see how New South Wales fans react when the Origin Circus comes on to Sydney. Fair can cut him in half.